Hey Andrew, where are we today? We're in the sacristy, joined by Monsignor Zeffel, who's going to explain a few things for us. So take it away. Hi everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Recently, I last year I celebrated uh, 40 years of priesthood, and uh, as part of the parish gift to me, to really to priesthood, were some were some new vestments that we wear for mass. And so uh, we thought it would be interesting and just a reminder for most people about uh, what the priest wears and, uh, and why. So the first thing that the priest puts on is an L, this white vestment here. It really symbolizes our baptism, the whiteness of God's grace in us, uh, forgiving us and removing original sin, and our souls are made white in God's grace and in God's love at baptism. So uh, this is a common vestment that could be worn by, by anyone. And so uh, the new vestment that uh, was given to me uh, and given really to, to St. Benedict Church uh, is this beautiful green vestment. So we needed a new one. Uh, I use the analogy that uh, women at home will probably uh, wear a dress for a few years and then it just gets uh, worn out. And that's true with church vestments too. So a lot of our vestments have been faithfully used for so many years but they start to wear out as well. So new vestments are, are an important thing because they should remind us of the dignity of the celebration uh, that we have here in church, especially the celebration of the Eucharist and all the sacraments. So the first vestment after the elb that the priest puts on is the stole. So the stole is the symbol of the priest's uh, authority to preach and to teach in the name of the church and in the name of Christ. And almost always there's a little cross on the uh, in the center of the uh, stole, and uh, the priest kisses the cross as a sign of reverence and a reminder to him of the authority that he exercises in the name of Jesus, who is the high priest. So the stole for a bishop and a priest hangs down straight like this, and as I said, it's a symbol of his authority in the church to preach and to teach in the name of Jesus, Jesus and the church. So in the very early days of the church, when it got cold, people would often just wear, wrap a blanket around themselves to, to keep warm. And uh, gradually in the church, uh, there was a special blanket that the priest wore, and that was kept apart just for the priest. And eventually that became what we call the chasuble, which is the outer vestment that the priest uses. So the outer vestment that the priest uses, this chasuble, um, has come to symbolize charity, that uh, we put on charity over everything. Charity is the, the mark of a Christian, see how they love one another, and love is another word for charity, and charity another word for love. That just goes over the priest's head like this, and he straightens it out to be pretty even usually, and uh, is ready to celebrate Mass. So usually we just say a little prayer before Mass, asking the Lord to bless us. There's a wonderful prayer that I learned many years ago um, that a priest should say each Mass as if it was his first Mass and should celebrate each Mass as if it is his last Mass. And that reminds us that really we're part of a long continuation of priesthood, united with our bishop here in Buffalo, united with a, our brother priest throughout the diocese, and we together we form the priesthood of of our diocese serving the Lord and serving his people faithfully, joyfully, hopefully, uh, but always, as this investment symbolizes, uh, with charity and God's love. God bless you all.